What's going on YouTube? My name is Uncle Pickle Pokemon. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to try and sell these to uh, GameStop. As you guys all know, GameStop has recently started a program where they will be buying your graded slabs. Uh, they only take uh, Pokemon for right now, as I understand, and they only take grades 8 and up. So I have a few slabs here that I have um, for about six months now. It's not as liquid because the grades are not um, as high or they're just not really popular. There's about 11 slabs there and the comp for these are right around $40 per, per slab. So that would be $440. At 80%, uh, I'm trying to get at least $350. So I'm actually going to call up my local GameStop and ask if they are participating in the uh, purchasing of these graded slabs. So I just got back from GameStop and this is how we did. As you can see, uh, for total trade in value, I got $322.90 for all 11 slabs there. On the right hand side, is the trade in value for store credit and there is the uh, trade credit card there that i got um, and then on the left side here is the uh, trade in value for cash uh, so the difference was right around 22 dollars. i could have taken the cash option which was right around 300 dollars. Um, and what they do is they'll just put that uh, money into a uh a MasterCard, kind of like a MasterCard uh, gift card uh, where you can use it, it's, it's like a prepaid debit card, essentially, where you can use um, at any location, any store that you want. And then also on the left side here, you can see the certification number of all of the PSA uh, cards that I have uh, traded in. Now, it is really important to note, too, that uh, when I showed them my slabs, they screened it, the cars for authenticity. And so they'll use a black light to make sure that uh, the PSA logos up here will display. Also, on the back there, you should see three PSA logo on top there and three on the bottom. Uh, injection site on the bottom as well. That has to be there to be uh, authentic. And they also look for the three tick marks here. You can see there's... I can get this into focus there's one tick mark there uh, another one there and there's also another tick mark there so they're also looking for those three tick marks and then what they'll do is they will scan the back of the qr code here to make sure that it is in uh, psa's database to make sure that the label here is authentic and the card is absolutely authentic uh, with fake cards out there uh, they are doing the right steps to make sure that they are not getting gypped don't go in submitting fake slabs because they will be able to uh, catch you. And so they didn't really seem too uh, picky about the cards. They accepted all the cards that I gave them. Um, unlike your LGSs, I know LGSs are very particular on the, uh, uh, the slabs that they buy from you. And so that was a pro uh, going into GameStop. They weren't picky at all. They just took all of the cards. All right, as far as the trade value, let's dig a little deeper and see if uh, uh, what I got back for store credit is uh, somewhat decent compared to the market prices. All right, so the first card submitted was a Mint 9 Mew from Pokemon 151. Last sold for $14.50. And as you can see here, uh, trade in value, I got $3. Um, not the best price uh, when I first saw that I was really skeptical but I just proceeded to the next card let's take a look at the next card here all right so the next card that I sold was the uh, mint 9 Venusaur from uh, Pokemon celebrations last sold for $25 as you can see here I got $25.90 for store credit so that was right on par with market value so i'm really really happy for that one the next card that i sold was a blastoise a mint nine blastoise from pokemon celebration set last sold for 24 dollars. so this one really surprised me because as you can see uh they gave me a store credit of 138 dollars and 75 cents uh 
I wasn't gonna say no, but I mean that was they gave me way too much. Uh, I don't think even a ten goes for near and close to that. I think a ten maybe goes for like forty bucks uh, max on a good day. So I was really surprised they overcompensated for that card. Right. So the next card is this PSA nine uh, Glaceon GX from Hidden Fates. Uh, you can see here the trade-in value I got for this card was $17.55 and uh, the last sold was $30 so a little over half of what the market value is not too bad the next card I sold was a mint 9 leafy on uh, hidden face shiny I'd say right around 45 40 around 40 45 dollars for this card in a nine so for this card they gave me 26 dollars and 60 cents um again right about half of what the market value is a little over half for what the market value is going for for that card the next card was actually a psa 10 primate master ball reverse Last sold $23.50. Let's see how much I got for that card. I got $16.80 for that card. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. And the next card I sold, it was not the uh, Mimikyu uh, Pokemon Center stamp one. It was just a regular one. Looks like regular uh, Mimikyu promo went for $30 in a PSA 10. And for that card, I got a trade in value of $21. Not too bad. So about $9 off of market price. The next card is a PSA 9 Gloria uh, Japanese. So last sold May 1st for $32. This card I got $19.80. So right about about half of market value again. The next card is a PSA 8 uh, Charmander from uh 151. This is the illustration rare. Last sold for right around $25. This one here sold for $35. So I'd say right around $30-ish dollars. For this one I got $17.50 there. For that Charmander. The next card was a PSA 9 Umbreon. Looks like $19.99. So $20, $20 for a Mint 9. This is the Umbreon from the Pokemon Celebration set. And it looks like I got $21 on the dot for trade in value, cash value $20. So that one is right on the money as well right where it should be market value wise for the last card i sold the uh gyarados psa 9 uh, this is the full art gyarados from crimson invasion last over 26.95 and i got 15 dollars for this card in my opinion um i think you know after factoring in ebay fees and shipping costs I think this is a great alternative to sell ill liquid slabs that you want to get rid of. All in all, I think it was a pretty positive experience for me, at least. Um, I also noticed that they were also selling uh, bulk cards. Um, right now, they're selling hollows and reverse hollows. So that means that they're taking uh, bulk cards, reverses, and hollows as well so if you're looking to get rid of those gamestop is also taking those as well that is my experience let me know what you guys think uh let me know if you guys were able to sell some cards to gamestop and uh, leave your comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next video peace